Have you ever considered how simple it is to save a lot of money simply by remaining at home? Saving money does not involve depriving yourself of your wants or the nicer things in life. It simply means that you have the ability to prioritize things that are essential to you as an individual. Here are extreme ways to save money at home. 10. Eat like a college student. Do you recall your college days? In your dorm room, you were living on ramen noodles. Continuing to live a modest lifestyle after college is an extreme method to save money. A lot of people do this. Have you ever read of someone who paid off $50,000 in student debt in two years? Or another exorbitant student loan payment in a hurry? This is one of the methods they use. Making short-term lifestyle sacrifices can pay off in the long run. Here are some more unusual methods to eat cheaply as a college student to save a lot of money quickly. One of the most crucial is to avoid dining out. So you'll be eating exclusively at home. And honestly, you don't need to eat three times a day. Once a day is completely acceptable. Drinking water solely while eating is one method to do this. It's more complicated to obtain, but once you do, it's well worth it. But we're only getting started. Our next money-saving suggestion is to cut your hair at home. 9. Haircuts at home Hair cutting at home is a terrific method to save money. Men's haircuts cost $30 every week. That's more than $1,500 every year. It may be much more costly for women with beauty salon treatments costing $100 or more every visit. Investing in hairstyle products such as clippers or hair cutting scissors is a wonderful approach to reducing grooming costs. Some have even gone so far as to shave their heads to reduce care and expenditures. By the way, this includes both men and women. Also, hair growth would need a lot of upkeep, which would necessitate the use of money and time. Cutting it off is the best option. That's what I do. But does it stop there? No. If you are trying to save money, it also involves spending or not buying any makeup since, technically, you won't be going anywhere. 8. Don't buy any makeup. Concerning grooming and self-care, another method for women to save money is to avoid purchasing makeup or washing any that has been applied to their face. Does that sound crazy? Makeup is costly and using it every day will deplete your supplies quickly. Instead of applying makeup to your face, why not forgo it to allow your skin to breathe, look healthy, and radiate natural beauty? This one seems odd, but it's a great technique to keep your face looking young and lovely. Also, why are you even wearing makeup? Why are you working so hard to buy or apply cosmetics if you're not going somewhere because you're trying to save money? It could be more sensible. The world is shifting away from cosmetics and toward natural skin. Why not just go with it? 7. Don't trash your clothes ever. So, what precisely does this imply? There are occasions when you must change your attire. Your coat's buttons pop off when you have holes in your socks or accidentally ripped leggings or pants. Or, as many of us are experiencing these days, you gain a little weight and outgrow your jeans. It's critical to understand that you shouldn't toss out your clothes if you want to save money. Restore them. So damaged or holy clothing, including socks, sew your buttons back on. Then use a rubber band or significant techniques to stretch your snug clothing a bit longer. This particular saving tip is my favorite, and it's because I also never throw out my clothes. All these are all part of cheapening your living conditions. 6. Cheapen your living conditions. The expense of living is lower. Living in a small house is a challenging task. Some individuals mistake inexpensive living for poverty. Yet this is not the case. That's just people being frivolous and wanting to spend more money. But that is one of the finest ways to live. Another option to save money is to find roommates, especially those who don't use AC or heat and aren't big lovers of TV. Also, consider renting out rooms if you have more than one. You may marvel at how some people can undergo such drastic transformations. 
Yet these changes will not endure forever. These money savers might help you save thousands of dollars every year. Some people need to learn how important it is to save so much money but do not know how cheap life conditions influence finances. Yeah, it's all enjoyment, but until you realize that your finances look like someone has been stealing from you, haha. -ha. Another way to save a lot of money is not buying convenience foods. Five. Don't buy convenience foods. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Consider thinking about this one carefully. When you go grocery shopping, buy complete foods and use every component if possible. Instead of boneless, skinless chicken breasts, get a whole chicken. Then you may utilize the bird to make chicken broth, bone broth, pet food, etc. No junk food such as chips, cookies, crackers, or ice cream, and no bags or coffee pods. There will be no frozen dinners, and more crucially, nothing in a box or container. You will prepare your meals and food. This will take more time and effort, but your bank account will reward you. Yes, if you truly attempt this, you'll be swimming in a pool of savings. Also, drink tap water. We said it briefly, but to clarify, you will be drinking tap water. There will be no more bottled water or water filters. You'll appreciate the taste of plain old tap water. I know some of you are thinking of tap water. Why? The fact is that all water is treated, including the bottled water you're paying a fortune for. So drink that sort of water to save time and money. Purchase a reusable water bottle and refill it at public water fountains or bathrooms. This simple tweak will save you a significant amount of money. Never ever purchase new clothing. When you need to refresh your clothing, go to a thrift store, consignment store, or local Goodwill store. You can obtain numerous designer garments for half the price of nice ones and of the same quality. If you believe buying used clothes makes you a bad person, think again. What matters is that you save money. So cancel that pricey clothing order and get some appropriate clothing. 4. Explore free entertainment. Look for free things to keep you occupied. Many cities have various free local entertainment options, such as music in the park or Better still, a public library. Many of us enjoy visiting local parks, so you may do the same. Imagine going to a show with food and drinks and not having to pay a single dime for it. That's seriously lit. If there's one thing I ever wanted to do, it would be to go for a free show or movie night and have the time of my life. Not to mention the free activities you may do at home such as organizing a movie marathon in your living room or throwing an indoor or outdoor picnic with your friends. And now, there is something called color pick, which many people engage in because it's cheaper, less exhaustive, and gives you time to spend with your friends. It's so cheap and enjoyable. So, if you ever have a picnic party, be sure to be economical, because that's why they exist, to help you and I save a lot of money. Three. Make your deodorant and toothpaste. Did you know that making your toiletry only requires a few ingredients? Making your toothpaste and deodorant is a simple process. You only need coconut oil, baking soda, and essential oil. It may also be healthier for you, particularly if you have sensitive skin or gums, not to mention the benefits to the environment. The Zero Waste Collective has several recipes for toothpaste, deodorant, and other DIY skincare suggestions. Two, go vegetarian. Meat is expensive, particularly red meat. A fast approach to saving money is eliminating meat from your diet and becoming a vegetarian. Many tasty vegetarian dishes are available, so you don't have to sacrifice flavor. Remember that a vegetarian diet might be costly if you shop out of season or eat specialist items. You'll also need to ensure that you're getting adequate protein from meals like almonds and chickpeas. However, chopping meat might be handy if you're on a tight budget. Similarly to the preceding suggestion, another extreme option to save money is to reduce the calories consumed. Things that contain a high amount of calories, like cheap meat, can become expensive and addictive over time. You can also create a jar where you save money when you buy every and any form of meat at all. Install a plastic jar on your windows, look at it and tell yourself, I'm going vegan, so anytime I have to buy meat or anything that's not veggie, I have to save your money. Apart from not being easy, it helps you save a ton of money. 1. 
Purchase in bulk. Buying in bulk may seem counterintuitive at first, but it can save you money in the long term. The main disadvantage of this technique is that you may require more money ahead to purchase in bulk. When you buy in bulk, household essentials like toilet paper and pantry basics like rice and pasta become cheaper in the long term. Now, I know you're worried that the food could expire and you might be scared of wasting your money, but things like pasta last for a year and even cereal. So when you try to buy these food kinds of stuff, make sure you buy in bulk because you're saving at least 30% off when you buy alone and you're saving long term because over time, these prices go higher than they should due to inflation. So make sure you budget for your large purchases and your finance will thank you. When you pick up your phone to check how much you've accumulated, you might just become the next Jeff Bezos. So which option do you think is the best way to save money between buying and bulk and eating like a student? Let us know in the comment below.